everyone. Before we take on our Cosmic Kids Yoga Space Mission, make sure you download your free astronaut yoga plan. Go to cosmickids.com forward slash yoga in space and download it now. The story so far. Astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti called us. On her next mission into space, she wanted to try yoga, to stay strong, flexible and calm whilst on board the International Space Station. We went to visit her at ESA before her launch into space. We learnt what it's like being an astronaut and tried out some yoga poses together. On Earth, we have gravity, which makes the poses work. But in space, there is only microgravity, so your body is weightless. That makes yoga challenging. But we figured out a yoga plan of poses that Samantha could practice. She blasted off into space in her rocket and she tried doing the yoga in space. It looks like it works. Let's see. Hello, Cosmic Kids. This is Samantha calling from the International Space Station. Do you want to do yoga with me? Here's the plan. Let's go. Let's all do the yoga poses now with Samantha and unite in yoga in the most cosmic way possible. It's time for sunscreen. So what I'm going to do, because otherwise I will float away, is to hook my feet under a handrail and see if that's good enough for this first pose. So let's go. Tapping the body, waking it up, energizing. Other side. That's it, Samantha. And everyone's doing it at home as well and in class. Well done, everyone. Oh, we feel very awake, don't we? The inside. And then awakening all those little muscles. Face. Like spiders. And up on your head. <laughs> oh, this feels good. <laughs> feels really good. Nice. Now it's time for Hello Sun Breaths. Let's take a breath in. And breathe out. They calm the nerves. Settle the mind. Very important for an astronaut. Let's try our Hello Earth. Standing tall, we fold all the way forwards towards the Earth. Oh, this is easy for us on Earth with gravity. But how about for Samantha? Oh dear. Without gravity, Samantha has to pull herself down on a magic elastic band. Well done, Samantha. Oh, it feels nice, this. Let's roll all the way back up. Ah. The next one on the plan. Crescent moon pose. Standing tall, we stretch our arms up, join our palms together and lean over one way. Oh, that feels really nice in our sides, on Earth and in space. Look at Samantha. She's floating around like the moon in space. And the other way. Oh. That feels so good. Coming up to centre and lowering our arms. Nice, good stuff. <laughs> Next one we try on the plan, Cosmic Camel. Standing tall, we take our hands to our lower back, roll our shoulders, lift our spine, reach our heart to the sky. Oh, it's so good for helping us open our chest. And it works for Samantha too. She uses a bar to hold her feet down. Clever work, Samantha. Wonderful. And I can also make the noise of the camel. She even does the camel noise. <laughs> All the way back up again. 
Ah, oh, well done, everyone. Let's try our shooting star triangle pose. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back. Little bend in our front knee. Stretch those arms wide. We start to reach, 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 reach. We tilt all the way down and we stretch up like a shooting star. Amazing. Look, it works for Samantha as well, who uses her magic elastic, getting a lovely stretch along our side. Coming all the way back to centre, turning our toes to the front, our other toes to the other side. Stretch, 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 leaning all the way down and doing it on the other side. Wow, this is great. It's working, everyone. Coming all the way back up again and jumping our feet together. Boing! It feels nice. Very good. Now let's try that Jedi warrior pose. Stepping one foot forward, one foot back, bending into our front knee. Stretch your arms up and take them wide. And look in the distance like a Jedi warrior. The pose looks amazing. Actually, this feels really nice. I feel the stretch and I feel my legs working. Let's try it on the other side. Stretching our leg, turn to face the other way and bending into our knee. There. We are proper Jedi warriors. So is Samantha, all together. Now let's jump our feet together. Ready? One, two, three, boing! The interesting thing here is that you actually have to do a little bit of work to just bring your arms down like that. If you just let go, whoop, I want to come up. Now let's try our eagle has landed pose. We cross one leg over the other, trying not to wobble. We crisscross our fingers, wrap them around and sit down nice and deep in our eagle pose. What a lovely twist that really challenges our balance here on Earth. But look what happens to Samantha. It's great stretching though. When she isn't held down by her elastic, she floats around. But then she uses her magic elastic and look, she gets exactly the same as we do. A little bit of a balance challenge. Very good, everyone. Unraveling your arms and your legs. And other side. Now the other side. Trying not to wobble. With those elastics, Samantha has to concentrate on balancing. She's doing a very good job. Those elastics look very, very strong. We're managing to balance with her. Very good, everyone. Feels good after the release, doesn't it? Let's try our deep space dancer pose and challenge our balance. Stretching one arm up, hand to the side. We catch our foot in our hand. Oh, trying not to wobble. That's the gravity for you. We kick, kick, kick our foot into our hand. Yes, and we use all of our calm breaths to stay strong and balanced. Samantha just enjoys the composure in this pose with microgravity, but we all get the same stretch in our shoulders, in our hips, and it feels amazing. Woo, and we enjoy the wobbles. Yay! <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Samantha doesn't have that problem, though, because she's only got microgravity. Go, Samantha. And then I go in the pose. Now Samantha can enjoy the stretch in her hip, in her shoulder, in her chest. Wonderful. Enjoying the poise of the posture. Very graceful, Samantha. Let's try the supersonic butterfly. Come down to sit, soles of feet together, knees wide, fluttering our knees up and down. Feeling that resistance, the gravity. We press down against it to make our hips nice and open. But for Samantha to make this work, she has to use her magic elastic to make the resistance. It's a balancing act in itself, but I think it's working. See. It's working. There we go. I feel my knees being pushed down like gravity would do on the ground. And so I can really use this to open up my hips. Trying to sit up straight. Nice. And even have the 
supersonic butterfly. Flapper wings? Yes, fluttering our wings. To help release the tension. I like this. Go, Samantha. We can all make our supersonic butterflies fly. Very good, everyone. Enjoy those flutters. Coming up to stand. It's great to know that there are so many cosmic kids down there on Earth doing yoga. Maybe doing the same poses that I have been doing. I will continue to do yoga while appearing in space because I think it helps with strength and flexibility and my posture sending you lots of love from the International Space Station. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whee! Wow, we did it. You did it. We have taken yoga to space and completed the Cosmic Kids Yoga space mission. Not only that, we have united in yoga across a distance never done before, from Earth to space. You can now say you have practiced yoga with a real life astronaut while she was in space and be very proud to have boldly gone where no person has gone before. We really have gone full cosmic and I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>